Question number one. For a stationary motor, rated at 1.8 horsepower or less, that is normally left running, and cannot be damaged by overload or failure to start, the branch circuit disconnecting means shall serve as the blank. Answer. Motor controller. Question number two. The controller for a portable motor, rated at one third horsepower or less, is permitted to be in and blank. Answer. Attachment plug and receptacle. Question number three. Motor starting rheostats for DC motors, operated from a constant voltage supply, should be equipped with automatic devices that will interrupt the supply before the speed of the motor has fallen to less than blank its normal rate. Answer. One third. Question number four. What should be the minimum horsepower rating of a controller for a motor? Answer, equal, to the horsepower rating of the motor. Question number five. Which of the following is permitted as a controller for all motors, and can also be used for overload protection? Answer. Inverse time circuit breaker. Question number six. For stationary motors, rated at 2 horsepower or less, and 300 volts or less, which of the following controllers is permitted? Answer. General use switch, with an ampere rating at least twice, the full load current rating of the motor. Question number 7. What should be the continuous duty, full load current rating, of a controller for torque motors? Answer. Not less than, the nameplate current rating of the motor. Question number 8. A controller, with a straight voltage rating, can be applied in a circuit where the nominal voltage between any two conductors does not exceed the controller's blank. Answer. Voltage rating. Question number 9. Which type of switch is suitable for use on AC circuits as a controller for stationary motors of 2 horsepower or less? Answer. General use snap switch. Question number 10. How many motors should be provided with an individual controller? Answer, only one motor. Question number 11. Under which of the following conditions is a single controller permitted to serve a group of motors, rated 1000 volts or less? Answer, all of you above. Question number 12. Adjustable speed motors, controlled by means of field regulation, must be equipped and connected in a way that they cannot be started under a weakened field unless.
Answer. The motor is designed for such starting. Question number 13. Machines of which types are required to be provided with speed limiting devices or other speed limiting means? Answer. Separately excited DC motors. Question number 14. Under which condition is a separate speed limiting device or means not required? Answer. When the motor is always under manual control of a qualified operator. Question number 15. When a motor control center is used as service equipment, how many main disconnecting means should it have to disconnect all ungrounded service conductors? Answer 1. Question number 16. Where should equipment grounding conductors be connected in a single section motor control center? Answer, to a grounding termination point. Question number 17. In a motor control center, which conductors are permitted to be located in a vertical section? Answer, only conductors intended for termination. Question number 18. Under which of the following conditions should the frames of stationary motors be grounded? Answer. All of you above. Question number 19. Frames of portable motors operating over 150 volts to ground shall be blank or rounded. Answer, guarded. Question number 20. Which of the following is an exception where portable motors are not required to be grounded? Answer, when equipped with double insulation. Good luck and God bless.